Deuteronomy chapter 14. You are the children of Yahweh your father. You must not cut yourselves, nor shave the front of your heads for the dead. For you are a holy people to Yahweh your father. Yahweh has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure over all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. You must not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals you may eat, the ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roe deer, the wild goat, the mountain goat, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. And you may eat every animal that has a split hoof completely divided, and that also chews the cud. However, of those that chew the cud, or of those who have a split hoof completely divided, you may not eat these, the camel, the rabbit, or the coney. Although they chew the cud, they do not have a split hoof. They are unclean for you. And the swine, the pig, is unclean for you. Although it has a split hoof, it does not chew the cud. You must not eat their meat nor touch their carcasses. These you may eat of all that are in the waters. You may eat all that has both fins and scales. Whatever does not have both fins and scales, you must not eat it. It is unclean for you. All clean birds you may eat, but these you must not eat. The eagle, the vulture, the black vulture, the red kite, the black kite, and any kind of falcon, any kind of raven, the horned owl, the screech owl, the gull, any kind of hawk, the little owl, the great owl, the white owl, the desert owl, the osprey, the cormorant, the stork, any kind of heron, the hoopy, and the bat. All flying insects that swarm are unclean to you. Do not eat them. But any winged creature which is clean, you may eat it. Do not eat anything you find already dead. You may give it to a foreigner in any of your towns, and he may eat it, or you may sell it to a stranger. But you are a people holy to Yahweh your father. You must not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. You must truly tithe. All your income, grain, money you are paid, animals, year by year. Eat the second tithe of your grain, your new wine, your oil, and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks in front of Yahweh your Father in the place he chooses to establish his name, thereby learning to reverence Yahweh your Father always. But if the way is too long for you, so you are not able to carry it, or if the place Yahweh your Father has chosen to set his name is too far from you. When Yahweh your father has blessed you, then you are to exchange it into money. Take the money into your hand, and you shall go to the place Yahweh your father chooses. Then you shall spend that money for whatever you desire to have, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatever you desire to have. You shall then eat there in front of Yahweh your father, and you shall rejoice. You and your household, and do not neglect the Levite who lives within your cities, for he has no part nor inheritance with you. Toward the end of every third year you shall bring forth all of your income designated that year, the third tithe, and store it up within your gates, the house of Yahweh. So the Levite, who is also allotted the first tithe,
I, because he has no portion nor inheritance with you, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, who are within your gates, may come to Yahweh's feast, and eat, and be satisfied, so Yahweh your father may bless you in all the work of your hands.